I am drinking some green tea with lemon because I have been experiencing some headaches for some reason and a lot of the time people get headaches from caffeine withdrawal but I don't think that's it for me it actually happens in the opposite way it's really strange I feel like I get headaches when I drink coffee that's why I'm trying to drink tea instead to see if that is the culprit or not I'm hoping it's not because I love my coffee so I would never be able to give it up but for the time being I am opting in for some tea <laughs> I'm wearing this kind of maroon colored sweater today because I'm trying to wear all of my festive, cozy sweaters in the month of December to put myself in a more festive, Christmassy spirit mood. Also, this is really exciting. I got a package from this company called Bon Parfumer. I have no idea how to pronounce anything in French, so. <laughs> they are a fragrance company and they sent me this as a gift and I'm so, so excited about it. It is in the fragrance 203. I also featured this in my gift guide video for unisex fragrances and this is my ultimate favorite for myself. I personally like feminine scents on myself. This has notes of vanilla, raspberries, and blackberries. Oh my gosh, this is such a delicious scent. I've been loving wearing this every single day ever since I got it. Isn't this bottle just so stunning? It's just so minimalistic and elegant. I freaking love it. And this would be such a great gift for anyone in your life because they have tons of different scents in every single category that you could ever think of. I will link this in the description if you guys are interested in getting some really amazing fragrances for Christmas or the holidays. And I actually have a coupon code with them uh, for 10% off if you guys want to save some money. It is not like an affiliate link or anything. I don't make any money off of it. They were just so nice enough to offer that for my audience so they are amazing you can actually also find this on madewell i saw madewell sell this on their website they are pretty well known they have a really amazing collection of fragrances so i highly highly recommend all of their perfumes are crafted in france and these are their mini shots i actually received these before they sent me the full size of the 203 because i wanted to try out some samples before I choose the big size, but honestly, I loved all of them. So the full day has flown by because I had a important work meeting after we went on a walk with romper and everything i'm just really tired now but i did get to paint my nails which is exciting because i've been meaning to paint them it was really long overdue because all of my nails were chipping i recently got the sc polish in the color wool me over number 63 in their gel couture nail polish collection and it is this really really pretty color I freaking love this so much. Very neutral brown color and I absolutely love it because you guys already know how much I love my neutrals and it goes the same for my nails. I think my secret weapon for really long lasting nail polish is the Sachet Veet Dry Fast Top Coat. I know that there's a lot of controversy with these because I don't think they have very healthy ingredients in this thing, but honestly, this is the only thing that dries my nail polish really, really quickly, and I'm notorious for ruining my nails after I paint them because I'm bumping into things. So as my base coat, I know I went this in a very weird sequence, but the base coat, I have been using the Nail Kill Base Coat by Nails Inc. It's this green color one. It comes off clear though and this has been doing a really fantastic job of protecting my nail beds from the actual color polish so I love these I think the Essie gel couture polishes are my favorite so far because they have a really great round tapered brush that's 
flat. I do really want to try out the Olive and June nail polishes that I've been seeing all over Instagram. Let me know if you guys have ever tried that because I would love to know what you think of those. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wash up because I am so, so tired and head to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday. Is it Thursday? I feel like all the days are blurring together, to be honest. I thought that I would start showing you guys some of the items that I have been receiving throughout the week from all of my Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping. I was going to do a separate whole video dedicated to my Black Friday haul, but I decided not to because I feel like all the packages are kind of scattered throughout. I would have to wait forever for all of the packages to come in from that haul, so I thought that it would be more fun to vlog it and do kind of a collective Black Friday haul here. I got quite a lot of outerwear. <laughs> My gosh, more than I wish to admit. I got some pretty exciting things coming up for you guys. I have a lot of outfit styling videos. I'm still brainstorming and everything, but that is going to come soon. I am so notorious for wearing like a nice top. Then I'm wearing like freaking leggings. And this is how I pretty much lounge around at home because Obviously when I'm on like meetings or virtual calls and stuff, they only see, you know, belly button up. So that's all I work on these days. <laughs> that's my outfit of the day. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, moving on to the haul part. I got so many pieces of outerwear, like you see. I got a few hats that I'm so, so excited about because I really want to start wearing hats more. I also have a few things that I need to show you on this lovely accent chair that I use as a shipment collector. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna get started with this collective Black Friday haul. There are three main places that I shop the most during Black Friday, and that is Zara, Everlane, and Abercrombie. I also got some candles and some other goodies here and there, so I will go ahead and start off with Abercrombie because I was talking about those hats. Let me go ahead and get it. Okay, how cute are these? I got a black and a beige as always. This one is just so, so pretty and so incredibly soft. It is this really chunky knit pom-pom style hat. They were on sale for like, I wanna say around 10 to $20 or something each. And I thought it would be a great addition as an accessory in my wardrobe because I honestly don't wear too many accessories I feel like and I want to start incorporating more accessories into my outfit videos. I go back and forth how I feel about how I look in hats but you know I think I just have to kind of like get used to it. Sometimes I feel like my head is a little too big for hats. <laughs> I also never know how to do my hair in the front to make it look presentable with a hat on because it just always goes flat on my face. This is what the beige one looks like. I love this one. This is so cute. So I actually got this, <laughs> I have to squat, <laughs> this big long not parka, but it's kind of like a puffer coat. I am obsessed with this, you guys. Okay, it is super, super thick. It feels really, really high quality. It has a zipper all the way down, and then not all the way down, it actually ends where your hips would be. And then it has buttons all the way down. It's water resistant, wind resistant, and it's a recycled fill, which is always great. I got this in an extra small petite and oh my gosh, they still have this on their website. So I would highly recommend checking it out because these are so, so warm, very practical for the winter. I think this would honestly work for any type of climate unless like you live in Canada or something and it's like super, super extremely cold, then I would invest in like, you know, one of those like goose ones, uh, I don't know. But <laughs> this one works for our weather in the Northern Virginia, DC area. So I absolutely love it. It is just so stunning. It is so, 
Oh my goodness. Do you see how much of my body this coat covers? This is just so great. And I will crotch down so you guys can see the top, but it is just so snuggly. I love it. And the sleeves are just the right length. I love the Abercrombie petite sizes because they honestly fit me so, so well. I always usually get an extra small petite. If they don't have petite, I'll just go with the extra small. I also have one more coat that is coming in from Abercrombie that I actually placed an order after their sales were over. So that's kind of a bummer, but they do have a lot of ongoing sales right now. So I highly recommend their outerwear because honestly, all of the outerwear that I have ever gotten from Abercrombie, they last forever. This is just such a practical piece that I'm really excited to utilize this winter. Okay, moving on to Everlane because Everlane is definitely one of my favorite all-time brands to shop at for my basics and kind of elevated classic pieces. I got, I got a blazer. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. And I also got a linen blouse because I've been hunting for a longer linen blouse to put underneath my sweaters and things. It wasn't on sale by the way, so I was a little Still annoyed. I also got their double-breasted coat. Oh my god, it is beautiful. Let me show you. This is what the linen blouse looks like. I mean, it is beautiful. I got it in a size zero and I think it fits me relatively well. The only thing is that I'm actually contemplating on returning this because I recently got another linen blouse just like this from H&M and I only paid like 15 bucks for it and it looks essentially the same. I mean, this one definitely is higher quality and it's thicker. It's just, you know, such a gorgeous fabric, but the H&M one was so much cheaper. I feel like the H&M one gives me the same exact look as this one, so I don't know. Okay, next is a blazer. Chef's kiss. It is my, my new favorite blazer. <laughs> I feel like I say that every time I get a new blazer, right? This one is a twill material blazer. So it is thicker than their normal fabrics that they make their oversized blazers in. This definitely you can wear in the fall. I probably wouldn't wear this alone for the winter because it does get quite cold here. So I would have to put something over this if I wanted to wear it for the winter. This color and everything, it just screams my name. <laughs> This is the type of blazer that's going to be very classic. It is oversized, but it doesn't drown me, which I really love. It's not overwhelming at all. It has a really great structure and a more of an oversized boxy look, but without being too shapeless. You know what I'm saying? I got this in a size zero because I did want to have some room for me to squeeze in my sweaters underneath it. I've already worn this out and I've gotten so many compliments on them. It's ridiculous. This is the last thing that I got from Everlane and it is their double-breasted oversized coat. I wanted to pick up their camel color, like their light beige or camel color one instead of this kind of rustic orange one. Not gonna lie, I was pretty bummed out that they were sold out when they were having their Black Friday sale on this specific coat, but this one had my size, so I picked this one instead, and I'm really glad that I did because this is such a nice statement coat. This would be amazing with other neutrals underneath. This would just make your outfit pop, and it is a gorgeous, stunning coat. This color is so, so unique too. It's not too orange, if you know what I'm saying. It's like that really great, delicate balance between being rustic orange and brown. It's like right in the middle, so I love this. I think this would look so, so good with all of my beige camel toned sweaters and knitwear, so. I'm really glad that I got this one. Also, if you guys are curious how these will look on me, make sure to go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of outfit ideas and cute outfit photos on there and you'll see how they kind of look on me, all styled. I will also be featuring all of these items at some point in my outfit lookbook videos, so keep an eye out for that because I have so many great ideas for those. I got two things from Zara. Quick rant about Zara. I feel like Zara 
customer service is the absolute worst. They are terrible at communicating and they just don't have any tact when they talk to their customers, especially when you're utilizing their chat on their website. It's just so bad. I actually ordered another coat. So I ordered three things on their website and I only received two in the box. So I was really weirded out. I was like, where's my third coat? It was under one order. I reached out to their customer service and they were just trying to blame this situation on me. It was just such a long process to just get a replacement. So eventually I got through to them and I was like, look, I'm pretty sure so the person who packed this order just forgot to pack the third item because this box that I received was too small to fit three items in there. So it was either intentional or accidental that the packer didn't include all three of my items. So I had to go throughout this whole spiel for like 30 minutes trying to convince this person that it's not my fault that I didn't get the third item. Anyway, whatever, it's fine. They are sending me a replacement, so that's great. But I strongly despise ordering things online through the Zara website because I feel like they always mess up somehow. Okay, so I got a oversized black blazer coat and this is so beautiful it was on sale for like 45 dollars maybe with tax and it is gorgeous it is fully lined on the inside it is very thick double breasted and it does look like a more boxy fit so i think this would look so so pretty with all of my skirt and shorts with tights outfits this is something that i'm debating on returning i got this wool blend coat it looks like this so it's a navy color but in certain lights it looks black and i thought it was definitely going to be a lot more on the navy side that's one thing that i was disappointed by also the fit isn't my favorite it is very slimming and it cinches in the waist it is a more fitted look instead of that more oversized boxy trendy look right now i don't know how i feel about it to be honest so i'm debating on returning it but i also got this same exact coat in a beige color when that comes in i will see how I feel about both of them. They were on sale for like $70 and they normally retail for like $129. So I saved a lot of money. So that's why I'm like, Ooh, I, it was such a good deal. But then I don't ever want to keep things in my closet that I know that I'm not gonna reach for as much. It is still really stunning. I think this is really beautiful and it will definitely keep you warm because it is a wool blend material. Wool and like cashmere are the two textiles that's, you know, guaranteed to keep you warm. So definitely an investment, but they really are tried and true. In terms of warmth also i'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of the company called mott and bow but they sell amazing denim and just really great elevated basics and they gifted me some items which i'm so so excited about i will be collaborating on a video with them um not sponsored or anything but because i love the pieces so much i definitely want to, it, to create a video for them i got so many amazing basics so oh, so so excited i got two pairs of jeans um a really really nice just basic t-shirt and a cashmere s crew neck sweater like long sleeve shirt keep an eye out for that video because i think the video is going to turn out really really well i also got a few candles from simply curated i've been featuring them a lot on my instagram just because i really love their candles oh my god so beautiful i also featured them in my gift guide video they were having a black friday sale and i purchased four candles so <laughs> But I wanted four because I want to use up the candles and use the glass container as a cocktail drink glass. Okay, so this is one of them. And it is 100% soy and 12 ounces, which is a really 
great size for a candle. A lot of the time it's only like eight ounces or six ounces and they're like super tiny. This is from their cocktail collection. It is 22 karat gold screen printed glass and it's hand poured. Look how beautiful, oh my gosh, like, this is so, so pretty. Once you use up all the candle wax, you can reuse the glass as drinkware. These would also be amazing for Christmas gifts because they're just so stunning to look at. They are kind of like decor items for your home, which I love. And they have that really great thick wood wicks that crackle when you burn them, which is just a vibe, you know? I think we were able to get through everything. Super excited for all the outfit videos to come your way. Keep an eye out for that. <laughs> you should tag CVS and be like, yo, y'all are fucking up. Look at the length of the coupon. It's like a contract. It really is. It's like, it's like a roll of just savings, you know? <laughs> it is a roll of savings. <laughs> not environmentally friendly. It's really not. I hate it when they give it to me when I didn't even ask for it. We're at CVS because I need to buy a poster board for one of my mock interviews for my design project. Oh, and I need Zizol because I am dying of Environmental allergies. <laughs> Taste test of this new bubble tea place. Not bad. Well, it's technically a milk tea. Not bad. Better than Kung Fu? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I swear Romper always thinks my camera is a toy. <laughs> it is nighttime and I just got done with a bunch of work. So super happy about that. I am about to uh, do some prep work for my next video that I'm gonna film. It's going to be an outfit idea. So, oh my God. <laughs> he just wants to play. That's why he's jumping on me. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. I just wanted to show you guys what I usually do to prep for videos. I just usually write down on a notebook my ideas and a very brief outline of what I wanna touch base on. I feel like when I'm prepared, I usually get done filming a lot quicker, so less takes and that means less edits. I have to figure out the outfits that I want to show in this video. Basically, I just write all of my ideas down in this notebook. So I have how to put together an outfit and it just talks about kind of the general formula and the rules that I go by in terms of putting together outfits. And I'm gonna write down exactly what type of outfits I'm going to show in the video. So this is basically what I do. And I like to lay out all of my outfits onto this clothing rack so that I have it all ready. And I put the shoes down here, as you guys already know. I'm gonna go ahead and try on all the outfits and write down exactly the outfits that I like to show you guys in that video. And I think I'm gonna go to bed. I do have work tomorrow from like 12 to five. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wanna say hi? Jumping into Sunday, guys. I am sorry, but I have not vlogged nearly as much as I would have liked this week. I feel like this week has just gone by so, so quickly. This week was really busy just because I had a lot of design projects that needed to be done. I just got ready for the day. It's about 11.30 a.m. right now. I have to leave the house soon because I'm meeting up with my friend for brunch and we're going to this really cute cafe called Northside Social. I also got a couple more things in the mail from my Black Friday haul, so I will be showing you guys all of those pieces and I might actually try to visit 
visit the mall later today to return a few things. I'm actually really disappointed because I was trying to film my video that's supposed to go up on Wednesday. I only <laughs> shot like a portion of it and I still have like half of the video to film. Charlie and I have been so busy meeting up with, you know, just family and friends, you know, safely with COVID. It's been kind of wild. I feel like December has started off real busy. <laughs> anyway, I will show you guys my outfit because I think it's pretty cute. It is 60 degrees outside, by the way. So that is why I'm wearing shorts in the middle of the fall transitioning into winter. It's a lot warmer than it should be. I honestly hate this lighting, so I'm gonna put on some artificial light to help this situation. All right, so I am just wearing a white hoodie that I got from H&M, and I have these high-waisted pinstripe gray shorts from Yes Style. I actually hauled this in my other vlog, and I think it looks really cute tucking in my hoodie like this, where the kangaroo pouch is kind of hidden, so it just looks like a like a hoodie shirt and this oh where did i get this i think i got this from shein but i will link everything in the description like i always do including my sizes and all the other details that might be helpful to you i have this faux leather jacket from i believe shein and i think this is just such a vibe i love it so much and i'm probably just going to be wearing my white air force ones with this outfit because I love like a hoodie and sneakers kind of look. That is the outfit we are going for today. I love it. It's like very effortless, but still stylish and chic. You guys it is now sunday at 7 30 p.m and charlie and i just got back from the mall because i needed to return a couple of things during that return process i actually saw these mom jeans that i showed in my last weekly vlog if you guys haven't seen that weekly vlog you should definitely go ahead and check it out because i had a lot of great items that I hold in that video. In that video, I showed you guys the mom jeans that I fell in love with from Zara, but in the gray color, they were sold out of my size, but I saw them at the mall today and I made sure to snatch those up because I found them in my size. It is this mom fit jeans right here. It's called the classic mom fit high rise ankle length jeans and I wear a size 34 and I was obsessed with this gray color but they were sold out of my size last time so I'm so so happy that I was able to find it in store. I just love the fit of these. For about $40, I think these are such good quality jeans in my opinion and they fit me so, so well. I love how it looks. It's just a very, like it says, classic mom fit. If you guys are wondering how these look on me, I will go ahead and put a card here to my vlog that I tried these on in. We stopped by Abercrombie and I got this scarf it's really really cute i saved so much money on these they were on sale for 40 percent off and then i actually had a 10 dollars off coupon with them because i am part of their rewards program so i used that and paid only 14 bucks for this scarf and i think it's just so festive it's a perfect you know plaid print for the christmas time i just love scarves i think they really kind of switch up your outfit without having to do much and it's just so effortless i think this would look really really cute with kind of like a cream white outfit like if you're wearing all white and then just put this on as like a pop of color it would look so so good last but not least actually this is like the last clothing item that i will show in this vlog but i oh my gosh so 
A little backstory on these. I found this corduroy material white puffer jacket that's cropped from this little mini boutique that we found in Annapolis, Maryland when Charlie and I went a couple weeks ago. But I ended up not picking those up because I wasn't too sure about them. And at that point I was like, eh, do I really need a puffer? So I just kind of skipped on them. And ever since then, I've been constantly thinking about my regret of not getting those puffer corduroy jacket. So I went online and I could not find them anywhere. I searched the brand, I searched even the major department store websites like Nordstrom, Macy's, like everything like that and I just couldn't find them. Guess where I found them? On freaking Amazon. I swear Amazon has everything. They only had three left in stock because I think this type of style is getting discontinued or something on the actual brand's website, but it is this RVCA corduroy puffer jacket that is a cropped length and it is just so dang adorable. I am obsessed. The white color does kind of freak me out a little bit and make me anxious about wearing them, but I don't care. I just still really needed this in my life. <laughs> I got it in a size extra small and it still looks quite oversized on me, but it has a zip and buttons all the way down. It is so warm and cozy. I just cannot pass on these. I'm glad that I found them and now it's in my life, so <laughs> that's good. As I mentioned earlier, I did end up returning the navy coat from Zara because I just felt like I wasn't gonna reach for it that often and I would rather just spend that money on something that I know that I'm gonna love and enjoy. I returned a, quite a few things because obviously during Black Friday, I only did online shopping and I didn't know what they were gonna look like on me. So, I mean, it's kind of a good thing because then I just get my money back. I think that's honestly everything. I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because Charlie and I are not doing anything this evening. I think he's just working on some work stuff and then I'm gonna have to finish editing this video to go up tomorrow because I actually got a late start or a late finish on this vlog. I usually like to be a little bit more ahead of my videos because I do post three times a week like you guys already know. Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming if I don't plan ahead. I feel like this week has just been really hectic and chaotic for me so I'm excited for this upcoming week because I think I'm not gonna have as much stuff to do. Keep an eye out for a really exciting video on Wednesday because I'm collaborating with a brand and I am so stoked and really excited for you guys to see it. I'm especially excited for this video because it is another styling video which are uh, one of my favorite videos to make and edit actually because it allows me to be super creative with my editing and post-production stuff. So I'm rambling on so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it when you guys watch my vlogs because it makes me feel like you guys are curious about what I'm up to and interested in my life so that means a lot to me. Please remember to like this video, subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.